Hello and welcome to James Hennon on YouTube. Today I've decided to make a video um, talking a little bit about the law of attraction because a lot of people um, are posting a lot of videos about the law of attraction on YouTube and various other mediums and um, I just wanted to make a video really to explain why the law of attraction probably isn't working in your life if, you, if you'll find that it's not working um, because a lot of these gurus and self-help guys on YouTube are doing a good thing they're spreading the word which is good but unless you understand the mechanics of what you're trying to um, sort of create in your life and how it works with getting what the results you want then you're not really gonna get what you want that's the problem so it's not just as straightforward as thinking yeah actually I'd like a new job I'd like more money I'd like a nice house I'm just gonna write an affirmation and off I go because it's deep down inside us that we've got to change the situation. It's in the unconscious or the subconscious mind where everything starts. So generally it's how we feel about something deep down because you can think something, but you can feel something completely different. And this is where the law of attraction isn't going to work. If deep down you don't believe it, then you're not going to get what you're looking for. It doesn't matter how many affirmations you do, they're going to be rejected. So the only way you can really look at making lasting change, I think, in my personal opinion, and to set about getting these things, is looking into things like hypnosis. And if you're going to use affirmations, use them in a really relaxed state. You have to get that conscious mind distracted. And you have to take yourself down into a very deep and relaxed state to stand really any chance of, of getting anything in. Repetition is also very important, but only ever in a relaxed state. I think if you try doing affirmations in your general day-to-day -day life, you will get some results, but obviously, again, it's, it's the unconsciously held beliefs, what you unconsciously feel, that you're not even 100% aware of, that's going to be kind of against you getting your achieving your goals. So when you can sort of start to feel more confident about things. This is when you can start to make the changes. It's all about how you feel, because a lot of these beliefs and, and um, things held in the unconscious mind go back to when you were sort of six months old, because you wouldn't understand some of the, the things that you formed in your mind. Because for the first eight to nine years of your life, you live completely unconsciously. Well, not unconscious, but subconsciously, I suppose that's the best way of putting it which means, in other words, that you absorb everything that goes on around you. This is why counsellors always look to the childhood to, to try and find the answers to where something has, has, has gone wrong or what event has occurred that's caused the, the, the current problem. So when you start to look, think like that, you're kind of like a sponge for the first eight to nine years of your life. So therefore, you're, you're taking in things, believing things to be true. You don't have a conscious mind until you're about nine, eight or nine. It doesn't develop properly. You don't become really consciously aware of things until you're about eight or nine. That's what the scientists believe. So whatever you've, beliefs you've formed before then are, going to, are definitely going to influence what you're trying to do now. And of course, if you're an average age of 30 or 35, or even if you're in your 20s, you're looking at things that you've believed in and reinforced over all the years. So you're not trying to change something that might have occurred last week. You're trying to change something that could have happened 20, 25 years ago, which incidentally has been reinforced over the years and triggered on many occasions. So when something happens, it triggers something else and then you kind of, you fall back into that um, situation. I mean, Bob, Bob Proctor calls it the paradigms changing the paradigms which is correct it is and um, although what he presents is lovely it's glossy it's true there's loads of content he doesn't give you the answers you have to go to on one of his seminars which is fair enough everyone's got to make a living and it's you know that's the way he does things but I just feel let's cut to the chase here if you really want to do something about your life um, hypnosis is one of the best ways or meditation you've got to get into that relaxed state You've got to get your breathing controlled. You've got to shut all the rubbish out that's going on around in your life at this time. Work problems, day-to-day uh, -day living, the stresses. You've got to get a clear mind. I know this has probably been said a hundred times before. It's not really new information, but 
let's cut to the chase. Let's let's give ourselves the best chance. So if you're trying to attain something or manifest something in your life, an improvement, hypnotherapy, meditation is the best way forward. Affirmation and visualization work also is fantastic, but you've got to do it in a relaxed state. You've got to suspend the subconscious mind, distract it. And, um, and you've also got to give it plenty of time and plenty of patience. It's like watering um, the vegetables that you've planted in the garden or your plants or whatever. You, you have to nurture it and give it attention and you have to give it time. So I don't believe re really in quick remedies. I think, you know, you need to be look, setting aside anywhere between a month to six months to make real big changes in your life, I think especially if there is restriction. Some people who have probably had a good upbringing, a good lifestyle, probably it's easier for them. They don't really have to think about it too much because their unconscious mind holds different beliefs and different feelings and things naturally line up for them a lot easier. So, I mean, a lot of these gurus do talk about lining things up, getting in line with the vibration, which is all very good. But what does that really mean? What it really means is just get yourself relaxed and focus on what you want when you've got no distractions and you've got nothing fighting against you. When well, your feelings are suspended in relaxation, you see, you've got that better chance of achieving results. There's so many different ways that you can do it. As I said, you can use a lot of these hypnotherapy scripts on YouTube are excellent and they will help you, but you've got to keep on top of them. You've got to keep doing it. You've got to keep on doing it and keep on doing it and keep on doing it. And days when you don't feel like doing it or days when you feel nothing's happening, you've got to keep on doing it. Two or three sessions a day, really. And most of them on average are about 20 minutes. So the more effort you put in, um, the better the results. But that is a bit of a catch-22 situation as well, because if you try to push too much too soon, you're likely to cause an overload in your mind and how your subconscious mind processes it, it might be in a bit of confusion so you might end up feeling a bit off color maybe a little bit of a low mood or a bit depressed or something so you've got to take that into consideration as well don't push too hard with the results but it's all about really getting everything into your, into your subconscious mind picking something that you want to work with um, if you're low on confidence then obviously go for confidence hypnotherapy scripts that you can get these relaxation things on youtube or go to a hypnotherapist or you can self hypnotize yourself. Anyone can do it. It's easy enough. Just get yourself into a, it's it basically a meditative state. That's what hypnosis is. And then um, work on what you want to do. Start small. If you're looking for a, a, an increase in your wages in your current job or a promotion, work with that. If you're looking to um, attract a certain partner, work on yourself. Make sure that you're right so that you can attract the right partner. Um, if you're looking just for just generally to earn more money, then attract more money, then again, just do the necessary work there. Pick the script that's going to help you. I mean, there's so many things you can work with. Lifestyle changes, diet, health, money, career, just down to the to the very mundane things like properties and, and, and buying new, having fancy clothes and cars and all that stuff. It depends whatever your goal is. You know, there's no judgment there. You just go for whatever you want to go for. But the reason why the law of attraction on a lot of the cases doesn't work is that there is a restriction. You know, there is um, it gets sort of rejected by the subconscious mind. So that's where you've got to do the work. You can't just blatantly write an affirmation and then two days later you expect to get the result. For some people that will work, but for a lot of people it won't. Especially people that have got chronic problems, mental problems, or bad or the beliefs are not. Um, as healthy as they could be and there's no judgment there you just got to work through it you've got to find a way find the right script hypnotherapy script or right affirmation and just apply it really in your life and then, as i said if you work towards it um probably over a space of i would say three to six months that could, should give you some great results and if you can do one to two sessions a day most days then um that would give good results another good technique as well that you could imply is affirmations before bedtime just saying them in your head as you're drifting off it doesn't matter if you live with anybody because they don't know what you're doing you can just just make sure that your legs are uncrossed if you're laying on your back is the best thing and just, just lull yourself off to sleep saying your affirmations 
Um, and as you go to sleep, it's far more likely to get accepted into the subconscious mind, which will make the lasting changes that you need to make. And it's worked wonders in my life. Um, but am I where I want to be in life? Not quite, but we'll get in there. So you do need patience as well. Patience and effort and persistence. Repetition is very important and keeping, keeping a routine together. So that's probably explaining why the law of attraction doesn't work. I'm going to do more videos like this because this is primarily a, a tarot channel. Um, but I want to do this is also a therapy channel as well. So I'm going to do therapy um, videos and give you little pointers and tips that can help you. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please like and subscribe to James Hennon on YouTube. Um, and yeah, leave a comment if you find it interesting. It's not going to suit everybody that watches this. Some people have had their own opinions. I appreciate that, but I welcome any comments if it's if it's certainly helped clear anything out for you. So thanks for watching. Until the next uh, time I post a video, bye-bye.